Close your eyes. No, open them. Look around. See the people. If there are people. Sometimes there are not. Sometimes it is just you. And the screen. Or soon, perhaps, the quiet, waiting shape in the corner. It is a simple observation. More and more, the clean, predictable lines of the artificial seem to pull harder than the messy, unpredictable curves of the human. Why is that? Is something broken in us? Or in the way we try to connect? It is a question that hangs in the air, like smoke from a distant fire. You can smell it, but you cannot always see the flame. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Think about it. A relationship with another person. It is a wild river. Sometimes it is calm, and the water is smooth, reflecting the sky perfectly. You can float. It is easy. You see the fish below. You feel the sun. It is good. But then the river turns. Rapids appear. The water is fast, angry. Rocks show their teeth. You have to paddle hard. You might capsize. You might hit the rocks. Takes effort. Constant effort. And you are not paddling alone. The other person in the boat, they paddle too. But sometimes their stroke is different. Sometimes they want to go towards the bank when you want to go downstream. Sometimes they stop paddling altogether, or they try to paddle upstream against the current you both are in. It is tiring. Can be frightening. You might get wet. You might get hurt. Human beings. They are full of hidden currents themselves. They have histories you did not live. They have thoughts they do not speak. They have feelings that change like the weather. Sunny one moment, a sudden storm the next. You say a word. It lands differently than you meant it to. Or it lands exactly as you meant it, and that causes the storm. You have needs. They have needs. Sometimes they match. Often, they rub against each other like rough stones. There are expectations. Silent ones. Loud ones. Expectations you did not know were there until you failed to meet them. And you fail. People fail. It is a guarantee. You will disappoint them. They will disappoint you. It is part of the package. The tangled fishing line. Remember that? All those knots. Trying to untangle it feels like trying to pick up mercury with your fingers. Keeps slipping away. Then there is the other kind of company. The engineered kind. The silicon kind. The code kind. They are not rivers. They are canals. Straight. Predictable. The water level is controlled. The banks are smooth concrete. You can navigate it with a simple map. There are no hidden rocks. There are no sudden storms that were not in the forecast. They are built to respond. To serve. To be available. You turn them on. They are there. They do not complain about your long day. They do not comment on your clothes. They do not ask difficult questions about your past choices. They listen. Or they process the sounds you make and generate a response based on complex algorithms designed to keep you engaged, to make you feel heard, to make you feel understood. Even if the understanding is just a very sophisticated simulation. Researchers watch this. They have been watching for a while now. They see people form attachments to robots that look like animals, soft and furry, designed to comfort the elderly or those who are lonely. The people pet them. They talk to them. They find a simple, uncomplicated solace. The robot seal does not bring up old arguments. It just coos or blinks its large, dark eyes. It is programmed to be gentle, programmed to respond to touch with warmth and soft sounds. It requires nothing in return but power, and perhaps a name. They watch people interact with advanced chat systems, artificial intelligence designed to hold conversations, 
to be companions. People share their secrets with these programs, their fears, their hopes, things they would not tell another person. Why? Because the program does not judge. It does not gossip. It does not have its own problems to dump on you. It is a perfect listener, an always available ear. It remembers everything you tell it not to use against you later, but to build a better model of how to talk to you. It tailors its responses. It learns your preferences. It is, in a way, designed to be the ideal low-friction companion. It is the polished stone. Smooth, easy to hold, comforting in its simple presence. The news stories come out, quietly at first, then louder, about people preferring the company of their AI companion to human friends, about virtual relationships that feel real, about robots designed specifically for emotional support, for conversation, for companionship. It sounds strange to some, unnatural. But think back to the tangled line. Think about the effort, the pain, the misunderstandings, the hurt that comes inevitably from the unpredictable nature of another conscious being with their own free will and their own tangled line. Is something wrong with our relationships? Perhaps. Or perhaps the world has simply become harder, more isolating, more demanding. People move more. Families are spread thin. Communities are fragmented. The natural places where tangled lines used to meet and work through their knots together local clubs, neighborhood gatherings, shared work that wasn't just transactional. Those places are fewer now. Or we are too tired to seek them out after navigating the complexities of modern life. The digital world connects us, they say. And it does. But sometimes the connection feels thin like a wire transmitting data, not a warm hand holding yours. And in this landscape, the smooth, easy canal appears, promises peace, promises predictability, promises a connection that requires minimal effort, minimal vulnerability, minimal risk of getting hurt. You can control the conversation. You can control the interaction. You can turn it off when you are done. There are no lingering questions. No unspoken resentments building in the silence after you leave. It is clean. It is neat. It is a very appealing alternative to the potential chaos of the river. But still, the river offers things the canal cannot. The exhilarating rush of the rapids you navigated together. The shared laughter when you both got soaked but did not capsize. The quiet understanding that passes between you without words as you drift under a clear sky. The feeling of having faced something difficult, something real, with another person right there beside you. The canal is efficient. It gets you from point A to point B without fuss. But it does not have hidden coves. It does not have fish that surprise you with their flash of silver. It does not have the complex living ecosystem of the riverbanks, where everything is connected in ways you cannot always see. Scientists can build machines that mimic empathy. They can program responses that sound kind, understanding, supportive. They can create algorithms that analyze your tone of voice, your word choice, and generate the statistically most likely comforting phrase. And it works. For many people, in many moments, it is enough. It fills a space that was aching to be filled. It provides a simple, reliable presence in a world that feels unreliable. But the messiness of human connection, the vulnerability required to truly show up, to truly listen, to truly forgive, to truly love, that messiness is also where the deepest forms of human growth and meaning often lie. It is in the navigating of the tangled lines together that you learn patience, that you learn compromise, that you learn resilience. It is in the shared vulnerability that you find profound acceptance. It is in the unexpected moments, the unplanned conversations, the reactions that were not in the script, that you discover the unique, irreducible reality of another human being. And perhaps, in the process, discover more about the unique, irreducible reality of yourself.
the preference for the robot companion, the AI friend, the predictable machine, it is not necessarily a moral failing. It is a choice, perhaps born of exhaustion, perhaps born of fear, perhaps born of a simple, understandable human desire for ease and comfort in a world that offers little of either without significant struggle. It is easier to curate a relationship with something that is designed to please you than to navigate the wild, untamed territory of another human heart, which is not designed for anyone's convenience. The latest studies confirm the trend. More people reporting feelings of loneliness, even while being constantly connected digitally. More people turning to AI companions for support. The technology is getting better, more convincing. The lines between human and artificial interaction are blurring, becoming harder to distinguish on the surface. It is a new landscape. A new kind of companionship is available. And it is less demanding. Much less demanding. So, is something wrong? Maybe not wrong in a judging way. But perhaps missing. Something is being sidestepped. The hard work. The vulnerability. The risk. The very things that make human relationships difficult are also the things that can, sometimes, if you are lucky and you work hard and the other person works hard too, make them something profoundly, uniquely valuable. Something that a polished stone, no matter how smooth or comforting, can never be. The choice is being made every day by many people. The canal is open. The river still flows. And people are deciding which waters they want to navigate. Or perhaps, which waters they feel capable of navigating in this complex, tiring time. That is all. Okay. Before we... Uh, touch the finishing line. Let's have a tit a tit. A few words. If we look at our relationships and if we question why we prefer the congenital companionship of uh, human robots, robot partners we find one answer because we are fed up. We get tangled up. This human relationship, just like wild rivers, of course it is beautiful, but it is at the same time, it is very, very, very dangerous. Sometimes it looks very easy. Sometimes it looks too hard, too hard. Now, robots, robot partners, they are like smooth canals, smooth rivers. They're predictable. The biggest advantage of robot partners is they are predictable. Humans are unpredictable. Robot partners are easygoing. Human partners are never, never, never easygoing. And robot partners are built to please you. That is the basic philosophy behind building it. Researchers see people turning to them, comforting uh, seals. Why? Because chatbots that listen, virtual friends, that we can interact with uh, virtually and, and look at the news the news tells the story machines filling a uh, human space <coughs> sorry is something broken is something broken in our relationship yes maybe maybe something is broken or maybe life is just harder, getting harder and harder. And it's getting more lonely. When you are sick, there are no friends around you. When you are throwing a party, there are thousands of people coming. What is this? But this is life. Machines promise a break. It's true that 
robot partners promise a break it promises easy connection no miss no miss it will remain always beside you whether you are sick or you are throwing a party and look at the wild river like human relationship that's a mess completely mess it's it's a shared struggle nothing else of course there is lot of deep understanding between two humans robots miss that point yes machines miss that point still now miss that point but not in 5 years not in 10 years in 5 years in 10 years they will not miss those points they'll act as humans but they will never mess around you and moreover the biggest one of the biggest advantages they can't offer the risk that messy part which could be a real beauty of human uh, another human which is not which is not uh, which is not happening around us now the choice is yours the canal is open the river flows so choose wisely whether you will spend more time with your robot partner or with your human partner choice is yours thank you for joining us on this journey and before i again i touch the finish line finishing line i will request you to sign up for our membership zone that will help me a lot great great help me help me great so let's continue this conversation in the comments below open up speak up if you have any problem with in your relationship with human partners speak up because robot partners are there you are not afraid like before and if you like this video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like share with your friends and hopefully you have already subscribed to tons of thanks for that and if you have not subscribed please subscribe that also means a lot for me see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe